Hello everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. It is Saturday morning, actually Saturday afternoon. We took a leisurely morning, and I decided that I'm gonna get out here and get after this side bed. This is the area that I shared previously. I'm gonna give you a close up so that you can see what is going on. So as you can see, there are all these acorns that is all over my rubber mulch. And I showed you guys the culprit, which is this huge tree right here that keeps going, 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 going. And when I put down this rubber mulch last year, last summer, I forgot about this. I was just so eager to get down the brown mulch that I absolutely forgot that this happens in the fall, winter. So I have my blower and we are going to see if we can blow off these acorns. So wish me luck guys. So I'm just adding here the image of how this space looked last summer and how beautiful the rubber mulch looked when it first went down. And on the right, you can see where we are today. I'm so glad that I was able to get a jump on this project because the weather is ch rapidly changing to be, be getting really hot pretty quickly. This week we're supposed to be in the mid 80s. So this day it was about 50 something and it was cool and it was the perfect temperature to be able to do this project. I'm shocked it's actually working. Yay! So as usual guys, I'm going to be uh, doing a project recap at the end of the video. There will also be timestamps in the description so that you can move around within this video and it'll also uh, do a stamp of when the project recap uh, will begin in case you want to skip ahead and check out the project recap. Um, all the videos will be in the playlist and that'll be linked in the description so you can check out whichever videos you like. I am really kicking myself because if I had gotten out here in the fall as the acorns were falling, I would have been able to blow them off with no problem as opposed to waiting till now after they already started decomposing, now trying to clean it off. At this point, I want nothing to do with this rubber mulch, especially in this location. So I stopped for a little bit and then I started back up again. This is me after contemplating. What I decided was I was going to salvage as much of the rubber mulch from the other side and relocate it on this side because I don't have the problems of the falling acorns or the pine um, straw that falls on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to painstakingly relocate the rubber mulch to this side and then I'm going to work on this bed again to just try to get as much acorns off of it as possible. Now with relocating the rubber mulch it was not an easy task but what I found was I just tried to blow off as much as possible of the acorns and try to clean up the mulch as, as best as possible and take the best portion of the mulch and relocate it to the other side bed. And then I'm gonna put a fresh layer of rubber mulch on top of it and that should be okay. 
Now what I decided was the easiest way to be able to move the rubber mulch to the other side is to just try to get as much of the rubber mulch on top of the landscape fabric in small portions that I actually could carry and then I'm just basically picking it up and I'm toting it over to the other side. And then in one case, um, it was a larger load so I just dragged it um, on the landscape fabric. But I was really surprised that this was a good way to be able to transport the um, rubber mulch. So now that we have as much of the rubber mulch up as we can get, I'm just prepping the um, bed because we are going to be adding in some wood mulch back here because we do have to top dress this um, because it, it is a nice seating area um, on both sides. So we're just going to clean this up. So I just wanted to show you guys all of these large tree-like things are actually weeds that were never plucked on my neighbor's side of the fence. So they're out of control. So my husband did a little trimming. He didn't do everything, but he trimmed some limbs um, from our tree that was hanging low and then whatever was in the way when he strung the additional um, patio lights along the fence he just took down and I'm going to be going back in shortly using my mini um, saw and I'm just going to take it down um, to at least be level with the fence on that side. So early this morning around 8 o'clock I went to Lowe's and I picked up 20 bags of mulch. They have their sale um, until the 15th, which is uh, five bags for $10. So I always like to take advantage of this sale. And especially because I need to replenish all of the mulch on this side, this was the perfect time to just stock up. And I'm going to see how far I get with these bags. And if I need more, I'll go back and get more before the sale is over. So a decision that I made was I'm going to relocate the Adirondack chairs on the opposite side um, just because I want it to still stay on the rubber mulch because it just works a lot better with keeping the chairs clean um, being in the rubber mulch. So we're going to swap and we're going to take the little table that we had on the other side and put over here. So I think we're going to have two little bistro tables on this side. So 
so thanks so much guys this is going to be the end of the video we are going to come back with a part two finishing this side bed over here um so i do appreciate uh the time that you spent with me today and i hope that you enjoyed uh, part one and we'll meet back here on friday for part two until then have a blessed day